Yo, welcome to another episode of the Mind and Muscle Show with your host, Adrian Moreno. Let me just say before I dive into this thing, that is my last time ever saying welcome to another episode of the Mind and Muscle Show because this is the last episode of it being that name, okay? Next week, we have a new name, finally. You know, finally, we settled on it. You know, we got a cover and we are excited. But um, anyways, aside from that little side note that I'm going to throw in there, okay? Mind and muscle, it's been nice, but time to go, all right? Now, aside from that, I wanted to come in here really quickly and actually answer the question that I get asked a lot nowadays because of the work that I'm doing. As you know from listening to this podcast, I mean, I believe I told you, but I'm basically not doing fitness coaching anymore. Like, I completely cut that entire department out of my entire company. Like, we don't, there's no fitness happening anymore. And with that being said, I'm only doing the one thing that I know I'm the absolute best at and that I know that me and my team can really deliver on and that's changing people's patterns of thought and behavior so they can be and show up the way that they want to in their in the world and their businesses and their with their families and every other area that is important to them. So as I've been doing hypnosis, I've been getting asked the question a lot. I mean, understandably, what the heck is hypnosis? <laughs> so let me go ahead and answer that really quick. So if I'm going to answer that, it makes sense to start with what hypnosis is not. Because when we understand what it's not, we have a really good idea of what it is. Right? <laughs> so hypnosis, in the first and foremost, is not mind control. I know a lot of people may feel like it's mind control. Hold on really quickly. Before I actually dive into this, let me tell you why this is important. And let me tell you why I'm even telling you this right now. The reason why I'm making this episode is not because I'm a hypnotist and, you know, if I can convince you that hypnosis is the best possible thing in the world, you are going to work with me. Look, I don't care if you work with me. I don't make this podcast to make money. This is like a straight up passion project, you know, but I genuinely believe in the power of this. And I feel like all of us should know that we really have access to this. We have access to to a state of mind that can literally rewire our perspective in a way that can change the way we think, the way we feel, the way we act, and the results we create permanently and for the long term, um, very quickly. Right. So, with with with, uh, with that being said, I I am about to break down exactly what hypnosis you know is, so you have a really clear understanding of you know what this is and what this can do for you and why it works, how it works, and why you should leverage something like this or you know i'm trying to get better at my life no you know what look at me look look at that look, look, look. i'm not even going to delete that i straight up caught myself saying trying right i just caught myself saying trying i said i'm trying to get better and then right before that god dang it i said something else but i said it i said something that was limiting right watch your language because your language is very hypnotic in itself okay aside from that i am not here to Break your mind down about language. I am here to um, open up the understanding of what hypnosis is. So back to what hypnosis is not. I cannot control anybody's mind with hypnosis. I know people or not even just, you know, people say that, but it kind of looks like that. When you see if you Google hypnosis, a lot of the time you're going to see a lot of you know, entertainment stage hypnotists that are there for entertainment, which is not what I do. But anyways, they are saying quack like a duck and people quack like a duck. They're saying, you know, um, um, you can't open your mouth and people are not able to open their mouth. They're saying every single word that you say you're going to sing and then people start singing and it kind of looks like somebody's controlling somebody else's mind. However, at the most fundamental level, hypnosis is self-facilitated. What I mean by that is that the entire hypnosis experience is dependent upon the subject that's in the state of hypnosis because the subject is the one who is going to choose whether to accept a certain suggestion or not, right? Because if, if you know, let's use that example of someone saying quack like a duck and then you got somebody walking around quacking like a duck and acting crazy, right? If you that person is not being controlled by the other individual. That person is openly and willingly accepting a suggestion and acting out on that suggestion. We do it all the freaking time. We literally do it all the time. Growing up, somebody can say, you're not smart enough. That's a suggestion that your mind was probably not even entertaining before that. And then they gave you that suggestion. You accepted it. And then you start carrying yourself like, hey, you're not that intelligent. 
right? So like we, we do this all the time. So, I mean, I guess we can just like, you know, end it here because hypnosis is literally everything. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to end it there. All right. No, I'm just playing. But hypnosis is I mean, like literally everything is hypnosis. I mean, based off of what exactly I just said. But back to the control aspect. I understand that's a real concern. I tr I totally do because like I've talked with a lot of people about it and this is something that comes up. But it's impossible for me to control somebody's mind or control somebody's value system because you are the one who is ultimately responsible for what you believe to be true. And if you believe that you are a great husband, I can't tell you to cheat on your wife under hypnosis and have you actually do it. Your mind will easily reject that because it knows that that is a value that is linked to pleasure in your mind that is linked to safety, security. Right. So your mind will reject that. So, I mean, I. I literally can't control anybody's mind. And I always joke around about this. If I could control people's mind, I'd be like a billionaire by now. I mean, I'd be telling people, hey, you didn't pay that invoice. You should pay it again. And even though if they did like 10 times, hey, they're hypnotized. They don't know, right? I'm controlling their mind. Uh, it, it just doesn't work that way. I could walk in a bank and say, give me all the money in the bank, control their mind, and they do it legally, right? Like, like I, I, I just can't. I'm not capable of those things because I'm not capable of mind control, okay? It's your mind. You're in control of it. Now, with that being said, I actually can't really hypnotize anybody. Um, I'm not the one hypnotizing anybody. It's uh, and like it may look like hypnotists have some kind of fairy dust. But the reality is, is you're hypnotizing yourself. Right. Again, back to the fact that hypnosis is all self facilitated. The essence of hypnosis is self facilitated, not other facilitated. I don't hypnotize anybody. I just help people hit access a state of hypnosis intentionally that's that's really it okay um so it's just like how healers say you know people or people who you know say you know people work with them to heal people they don't really heal people it's that that person opens up and accepts the suggestions from this other individual accepts the entire notion that this idea is going to work and will really make it work the placebo effect i'm not going to dive into that but look into that guys that is pure hypnosis literally right there so um okay now that we got that out of the way okay the fact that i'm not going to control your mind and i can't because you're the one doing it yourself and you're the one in control let's go to the next place which means i mean which is sorry guys i'm talking really fast sorry about that but any <laughs> anyways um it's not an abnormal state of mind. That's very important because people have the concept that it's a really abnormal state of mind. Because again, it looks weird like, oh, you're in a trance. It's a very normal state of mind. Hypnosis, and we're going to like break it down by brain waves. All it is is alpha brain waves. You're, you fall into alpha brain waves literally every single day. When you go to sleep, when you wake up, when you're in the shower and you're like, you know, just really calm in the shower and you have that million dollar idea that comes through while you're just sitting there in the shower. When you're doing that, when you're walking and ideas are coming through, all of that is like you're tapping into alpha brainwaves during those times. You're literally tapping into your own state of a trance, right? Like think about the times where you work out when you work out. When you're working out, does the world even exist to you, right? It's like your problems just fall right away in the middle of your workout, especially when you're in the zone, right? When you're in states of flow and you're working on a project and time just seems to miss you and pass you by, you lose your sense of time. You lose like your sense of like connection with, um, like with all the drama going on in your head as you just completely absorb yourself in an internal experience. All of that is literally hypnosis. When you read a book and time passes by really fast, that is a literal trance right there. Um, when you have, you know, sex with your partner, that right there, that is a, people fall into trances all the time during those times. When you're writing, when you're doing anything, when, even when people are washing dishes, they fall into trances. We fall into trances all the time. Whenever you open your phone, you click on an ad and it makes you pull out your credit card and you pay right then and there. You literally fed in an entire internal experience, a trance that you had to make a reality because uh, accepting a suggestion is only accepting an idea to be true. That's, that's literally it. Like that's literally it. 
Okay, so through life, we accept a lot of ideas to be true about ourselves. Like I'm not enough. I'm not worthy. I'm not loved. We, we, we believe these things about ourselves, right? And so it makes sense to become aware of what these are so we can change them. But let me not go on, let me not go on a tangent there. Let me just come back to the fact that hypnosis itself is a very normal state of mind. Okay, like it is just literally alpha brain waves. We tap into it every single night. So that leads me to my next point. Hypnosis is not sleep. And I, and like, I know it looks like some people are asleep, especially when they have their heads down, you know, and they, um, like, you know, they just have their heads down and, uh, it looks like they're straight up asleep, but you're not. Can you go to sleep in hypnosis? Absolutely. I have people who like message me all the time saying, Hey, I fell asleep. I fell asleep as I was listening to your self hypnosis recording. And I've even had two people fall asleep during hypnosis, like an actual session. They were laying down and I learned my lesson after the second one. Okay. Nobody's laying down again. (laughs) But, um, anyways, it's a very relaxing state because it's alpha brain waves. Like a lot of my clients, they have aura rings or they have like, um, woo bands or something, something to track their sleep. And they'll wear it during the session. And I always encourage them to because it's so fun to see after the session, their woo band or their whatever they're wearing to track their sleep will send a report saying, hey, you were just sleeping for the last 60 to 90 minutes. And they were like in a deep state of sleep. But they really weren't. They were fully conscious. They knew that they were sitting in a Zoom room with me. They knew they were in their like at home. They knew their name. They knew what they were wearing. They knew where they were at. Like it, they, they didn't go to sleep. You can ask anybody, and you can even go to my website. You know, rewire. I mean, just look in the link. You know, rewiremythoughts.com/apply, and you're gonna see people answering that exact question of, "Do you fall asleep?" Like you're gonna see them sharing their experiences. You definitely do not fall asleep. Um, I mean, again, at least with what I do, you totally can fall asleep, but I don't put people to sleep. Now, um, aside from all of that, that is literally all hypnosis really is. Now, why, why would you even want to leverage something like this? Well, the reason why this would make sense to leverage is because it helps you uncover like the actual root cause behind a certain behavior pattern that you're that you're engaging by behind a certain you know behind a behind a habit behind a thought behind a belief behind a result it just helps you understand why you're even dealing with that it's it's like imagine imagine being in a dark warehouse and you are looking for your way out desperately trying to find your way out of the warehouse so you can taste liberation and just get out of the warehouse and get to where you're going you're looking everywhere but it's pitch black so as you look around you're knocking a bunch of stuff over and you're making a big old fat mess trying to knock all this stuff over right when imagine all of a sudden your hand finds a flashlight and your hand finds, finds a flashlight and the f- flashlight works and you turn it on and you see right in front of you, there is a clear path directly to the exit. That is what hypnosis does. Literally, it is the light, the flashlight that allows you to become aware, that allows you to become conscious of the unconscious root causes and behind the behavior patterns the thought patterns the results that you are consistently creating and struggling to get out of right now all of your problems are solved in your unconscious the solution's already there it's only a matter of shedding light on it literally that's all it that's all it is and so hypnosis is a easy way to bypass the 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 critical mind in such a way that allows you to easily access your unconscious mind's material. It's a beautiful thing. It's like you're sitting down and you're turning on a television and you're able to be like, okay, tell me exactly why am I doing this? Turn the television on and boom, you get a scene, you get a call, you get some kind of symbol that will communicate with you why you're doing something. Why you're engaging in it. With that understanding alone, you're liberated. With that understanding alone, you're able to do the things from that space on an unconscious level to change permanently where you're going in life right now, how you're feeling, how you're thinking, whatever, whatever that is for you. So there you go. (laughs) I really, really, really hope that that answered your questions. 
Um, now, if you want to experience what hypnosis actually actually is, um, and that, what it actually feels like, then just join my Facebook group. I have so many different like hypnosis audios in there, so many different things, experiences that will truly provide you a real life experience rather than me trying to sit here and convince you. Although that's not what I'm trying to do. That's not my job, right? Um, at the end of the day, you don't even have, like I always say, don't believe what I say, just experience it for yourself. But I hope that answers your questions. And um, if it doesn't, feel free to message me on Facebook, to shoot me an email, to you know, um, hit me up on Instagram to reach out to me some way to even ask it in the review section. I'd appreciate that. Ask me any questions you have and I'd love to chat. Aside from that, guys, I would love for you to leave a review. If you are listening to this podcast right now and you are truly enjoying the value that you get from this podcast, that you get from the experience of listening to this podcast, then, and if you haven't, I would love if you left a review and if you left a rating and if you shared this with a friend that you felt like can truly benefit from listening to this podcast, listening to this podcast episode itself. Um, Because what this does is this is going to allow more and more individuals to awaken to their power their true like the fact that they are always in the driver's seat regardless of what's going on right so um whenever you leave reviews and you leave ratings and all that beautiful stuff and you subscribe what it does is it boosts that algorithm and it gets me in front of more and more people so i would love if you did that for me aside from that guys thank you so much i will see you next week with the new podcast name the new podcast cover and um i'm just excited for where where this is going we have some amazing freaking guests lined up oh my god guys i know i said i was about to go but the guests we have lined up for you Okay, I'm just saying, like, it's going to be a top-notch podcast. So when tell all your friends, tell they mamas and they mamas mamas and they mamas mamas. All right? Love y'all.